can't see me. Let's go. What up, what, what, what up, y'all? You can't see me here today back again. You already know what it is. Today, I'm back on Russian Fishing 4, and I'm trying out another spot. I feel like this one is going to be hot. Some told me to just come over here to this corner of the map. You know, you have this uh, six right here. It means it's, uh, what, six meters? And, you know, face toward this. I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be here. And it looks like it'll have some good activity. Uh, try this uh, beetle bark larva. Now, it's starting to get dark, so I may edit it. Um, until it um the sun comes back up, but we'll see what we get. I've been getting a lot of good hits. Real fishing, actually, real fishing has been doing really good. Not going very far, but oh, that's right. I got two tele sticks. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. So I have my feeder out, and then I have my two floats. See if they do anything. Then I go back to spin fishing because I've been actually doing pretty well spin fishing. Just catching a lot of pike. And you can go back and look at my um, hot spots. Nope, oh, getting a hit. My hot spots one video. And what I'm gonna do is hot spots two. This may end up being hot spots two. Um, I haven't actually tested this spot out to see. But if I get a lot of good hits, this may be hot spots two. Oh my goodness! Right out the gate, that one character just with the float. Now that's good, you know, as a newbie when you're just float fishing. You know, my high spice vids aren't always about the biggest fish, which I'll make some maybe about catching the biggest fish when I catch some huger um, catches. But it's just about places where you consistently catch a lot of fish that you can turn in up. Oh, this one might be a high spot, y'all. Already got a couple hits back to back. You know, of course, it's carp. Um, I'm using bread. And shout out to my man Razor Dax once again. He uh, gave me a, another Telestick, the 13. I already had the 16 that you get. So I'm using the classic of medium nine, and I'm using this Semolina. He actually gave me uh, this Semolina too, gifted this man. So shout out, check out his channel. I didn't lower or change the depth at all. Oh, and I'm, excuse me, this is just regular bread. I'm just using regular bread on this one. I was looking at the wrong ride. Oh, my bad. Oh, 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 I'm messing up. This rod has the semolina and it's not hitting at all. So yeah, I'm gonna go in and um, change this just to some regular bread. See how many, you know what, I'm gonna do worms. See if we can maybe catch a perch. I wanna see how active this go up. Yeah, this bread is really hitting right here. Both of them are hitting now. I thought that float was moving. Come on, which one is gonna go first? Oh, 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 it's going, it's moving, it's moving, it's going fast. And I missed the other one, it just went under. Ooh, a chub, a nice little chub. Let's 
see if it goes under again like I said I haven't even changed the depth or anything this is at the the core depth um at the basic starter depth Ooh, that's another big carp. Nice. I think this may be a hot spot, people. We've already had four quick hits in only a few minutes. Look at that. There's another one, a fifth one. Something told me to come to this spot. I want to test it with my real fishing too, just to uh, see what else is out here. But yeah, nothing with the feeder yet. Go ahead, get it. Get it, get it. And happy holidays to everyone too. Just celebrated Christmas yesterday. This is the day after. Woo. Yes. Big catches. Big catches. I may switch this other one to bread. Look at that. It's hitting again. Oh, it's going. It's going. Yes, yeah, a lot of them. They're sitting right here. Ooh, another 1.18. In fact, let me go over this way. I'm crossing the streams. I'm crossing the streams. <laughs> and I feel like if I kind of go over to the left some more, it'll probably get some more activity as well. Did that go under? Oh, wow. You see how quick that went under? <laughs> oh, man. I almost missed it. Oh, the other one's going. I got to switch back. Yeah, they going ham. Ooh. They're kind of close, but... Wow. Hopefully some uh, Gibble Carp are on the menu at the cafe. Now that's one thing at Oldberg Lake. Um, the cafe, you usually have to catch really big fish to uh, meet the requirements for the cafe. So you do have to take that into account, but there are usually a couple where they don't have to be huge, but the majority of them that I've seen, they're, they're pretty big. Oh, there we go. Another hit. Oh, both of them hitting. Oh, that one's a little heavy. Looks like at least a one keg, a one kilo, excuse me. One point two kilos. Not so big, but a hey. they are definitely biting. I was about to go craft. Got a lot of bread I've been eating. Look, these hitting so fast, I gotta craft and jump right back. When it's slow, you know, I do two or three of them and go back and look.
almost at 30% on the harvest. Oh, oh, we got another one. Let's see. Go ahead and take it. There you go. There you go. A crucian, and I got some bonus luck. Oh, cool. Another hit right after. Can we get some more luck? Well, both of them hitting. Oh, and the floaty. Oh, excuse me. Both of them hitting and the feeder. Now, I got to go after that feeder. Come on. Who gone? Usually, the feeder will stay hooked longer. So, I can try to get whichever one of these go unders first. Okay, cool. You went under. Oh, he another big one that might be a one kilo. Close. Put you up. Go after you. Oh, I missed it. Putting these up though so I can um go after whatever's on my feeder. Unless I missed them. I'm not getting any resistance, so I might have missed it, or it's really small. All right, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Okay, he's moving with it. I'm going to see how big it actually is. Okay, cool. It was a tinch. No wonder. But usually when tinch do it, it, it goes back and forth more. So float fishing was working very well over here. I did get a hit spin fishing, but I'm not getting the types of hit that I got in my Oberg part one video. Um, the spot that's a little further up the bank, it gets a lot of pike hits. Uh, this one isn't really getting much. Unless I need to use like a different technique. Maybe a different lure. I'll try a maggot, see what we get. Yeah, it's already going off. Yeah, this is a very, very active spot for float fishing. And maybe if you're pro more proficient with spin fishing, you may be able to get some activity over here too. But definitely float fishing. Another kilo. There you go. You wanted it, baby. Uh oh. They might be feeling the maggots. They might be feeling the maggots. Oh, oh, that's a huge one. Oh, I'm snagged. Doggone it. What did I get snagged on? Okay, guys. So if you don't know, I just got snagged. Um, this I guess let's go ahead and end this video here. <laughs> and I'm going to get out of this snag. Oh, I'm getting another hit. But yes, this is a very high spot for float fishing. As you can't see me. If you got any tips or any tricks, let me know. Um... And once again, if you want to see me like walk to the spot or the, any other things you, um, if you know a better way to even spin fish right here, a good bait to use, let me know. All right. You can't see me. Rest of fishing for, you know what you must do above all things. Make your next move your best move. All right. Peace. You can't see me. Let's go. Thank you for checking me out at You Can't See Me TV. I'm You Can't See Me Gamer. Please like and subscribe to stay updated and check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All right, peace.